my YouTube channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, it is basically going to be like unboxing and a kind of review for you all, really. Because, I mean, I have actually kind of owned this kind of Gucci belt that I am going to be kind of talking about in today's video for quite a few years now. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to kind of jump on here and kind of just like explain to people when I kind of use it, how much I kind of use it and things like that. Because, I mean, obviously it is a little bit of a kind of just like investment if you do actually want a kind of like designer piece and I feel like that maybe if you're kind of like looking into getting one or things like that then you may actually want to know kind of like a little bit of a kind of like in-depth review as to kind of like what they are actually like if I'm completely honest with you so that is basically what today's video is going to be about guys obviously if you saw last Wednesday's video then you will actually know that I'm not actually buying anything new in at the moment so, I mean, I just basically thought I'd do a little bit of a kind of review style video today. Just because, like I said last week, I do actually still want to be putting content out for you guys. Because I actually really enjoy kind of just like filming YouTube videos. And hopefully you all enjoy kind of watching them as well, really. So, that is basically what today's video is going to be about, guys. So, I mean, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Now, the belt that I am actually going to be kind of showing you and talking about today is actually £265, which I obviously know is kind of like a really expensive belt, if I'm completely honest with you. And I mean, just in case any of you actually see this video and it actually kind of like makes you want to buy the kind of belt yourself, I will actually be sure to link it in the description box down below just so you can kind of find this exact one straight away really so i mean as you could probably tell by the thumbnail picture it does actually come in this box right here when you actually buy it now i actually picked this up from the bond street store and i mean this is basically the kind of box that it come in it did actually come in a bag as well but i don't actually have the bag anymore but i do actually keep all my kind of boxes so i mean it did actually come in just the standard gucci box right here and this is actually how i keep it as well quickly take it out of the box now for you you'll basically see that it does actually come in a little dust bag it is basically just a standard gucci dust bag it obviously it does say gucci on it and it is this kind of just like really nice cream color with the kind of black tie on it now i did actually pick this belt up in the black kind of standard kind of a width color i feel like this is actually four centimeters i feel like it's the bigger one it is actually the thicker kind of size out of the two you can obviously get a really thin one and then you can get this um size now i actually prefer the kind of thicker kind of sizes so i did actually kind of get the thicker belt as you can actually see See. these belts you can actually get a lot of kind of different kind of buckles on them but i did actually basically just decide to go for the kind of back to front kind of um like g's on them obviously you can get the two g's that face the same way but i actually decided to go for the kind of like back to front ones as you can actually see now if you are actually thinking about the kind of wearability of this belt then basically i actually just kind of wear it if i'm going somewhere of an evening i don't actually tend to wear this belt on a kind of just like day-to-day -day basis just because i feel like if i am actually going to wear it on kind of like a day-to-day -day basis it is actually going to probably end up way more kind of worn and it look a little bit more kind of used than i would actually like now i do actually when i say like wear it beneath and things like that if i am going out for like a meal in the day and i do actually fancy wearing it then i will obviously wear it but i don't what i'm basically saying is i don't wear it on a day-to-day -day basis just because i actually want it to kind of just like stay looking nice and fresh for as long as possible because it is actually quite an expensive belt as i did or do actually say but I mean, I do actually really, really like the belt, if I'm completely honest with you. Like I said when I did a previous kind of just like Burberry scarf review, I do actually feel like the items like this are kind of just like more of a kind of like accessory rather than kind of like a necessity as such. Just because I feel like that you are obviously paying for the kind of just like Gucci branding. And I mean, obviously they are kind of just like accessories that will actually last a really, really long time. Like you can literally see on the belt holes that it literally doesn't look like it's worn that much if I'm completely honest with you. I do actually wear it on the middle belt just here, just in case any of you were actually wondering. Hopefully you can kind of see but there isn't actually that much wear. If I bring it right in, you may be able to see that there's kind of just like a little bit of kind of wear around the kind of belt hole itself. 
but it is actually minimal like you would literally not really know just because like i said that i do actually only wear it on kind of like special occasions or kind of like meals and things like that like if i'm going out for drinks in the evening then maybe i'll wear it but i don't actually wear it on just like the kind of day-to-day -day basis now i have actually had this belt for about three or four years now in case any of you were actually wondering and obviously like you can tell it literally it looks like there's kind of just like minimal wear on it and i probably wear it i reckon i probably wear it about once a month just for kind of just like for how often i do actually use it maybe sometimes twice a month so i don't get the kind of just like most wear out of this sometimes i wear it like a couple of times a month and then some months i'll go like only wearing it maybe like once or twice like i don't really wear an awful lot if i'm completely honest with you but that is purely just because i actually i want to try and keep it in the best condition possible because i mean obviously it is kind of just like a really kind of expensive belt and i did actually get this as a kind of i feel like it was a christmas present quite a few years ago I do actually want to kind of keep it in the best condition that it can kind of be in if that makes sense and i mean like i said in the kind of burberry scarf review i feel like i've already said it in this one as well Things like this are literally accessories. But we've kind of saying that and saying that they are kind of like accessories. I literally remember looking at this belt for so long, like just online, thinking about different ways I could style it up and things like that before I actually got it. And I reckon if I hadn't got it, I would still be looking at it now. So I am really, really like pleased that I do actually have it. Obviously, I'm so, so thankful that it was actually a Christmas gift. And I feel like that I've literally got a good amount of wear out of it. I mean, I know some of you probably won't think that maybe only wearing it a couple of times a month is a good amount of wear. But for something like this, that as long as I kind of stay the same size and don't really fluctuate up and down too much, is literally hopefully going to last me a lifetime. And I feel like it will if I kind of look after it and carry on putting it kind of like away in the box and things like that as I do after I wear it. So, I mean, my kind of just like overall opinion of it is, yes, it is a very kind of expensive belt and i mean there are kind of like a lot of kind of just like cheaper alternatives but for me personally i feel like that if i hadn't have got it then i would probably still be looking at it or I'd still have purchased it further down the line just because i do actually really really like the ways that i can kind of just like styling up and i just am kind of like really really lucky and fortunate to actually have it so I feel like, like I said, if I kind of hadn't have got it, I would still be kind of like lusting over it to this day as such. Just because I feel like designer items like this, they don't really lose a great deal of kind of like money if you're going to like resale it or resale it. As if you're going to kind of like sell it further down the line, like you're not going to lose an awful amount of money than if you kind of bought a slightly cheaper belt. Like you would probably lose a lot more on a kind of just like cheaper belt on the kind of like resale value. So with saying that, I feel like that if you are kind of looking to buy this belt, maybe just kind of like tell yourself that if you were going to sell it on, then maybe you can still make more money back than if you was to buy a couple of cheaper belts that maybe won't be able to resell or resell resell in case they kind of like break or things like that and obviously this gucci belt is actually leather so i mean the wear and kind of tear in it is quite a durable belt now i mean obviously you can get cheaper belts that are leather that are obviously cheaper but i mean like i said the resale value is it definitely going to be lower in kind of like how much you're going to be able to get back on that belt than if it was actually a designer item because i mean more people are probably more likely to pay slightly more for a kind of designer item than if they kind of aren't if that kind of makes sense so again that is kind of like something that i would definitely consider as well if you are thinking of like selling it further down the line i actually have no kind of interest at this moment in time of actually selling this belt because i feel like it is going to be one of them items that i'm just going to keep forever and it's going to kind of like wear hopefully really really nicely throughout time like i said i have actually had it for quite a few years now and i mean it's still looking rather fresh if i do so say myself really just because i feel like it's the way you look after them and kind of protect them and things like that is the kind of like how well they kind of last throughout the kind of years so yeah hopefully i am going to have it for many many more years to come so yeah hopefully you did actually find this video kind of helpful and i mean if you are kind of looking into getting it then i mean maybe just maybe do your research because obviously it is a lot of money and i mean if you do have any questions about the belt that i haven't actually answered in it today's video then i mean do be sure to drop me a comment down below let me know any kind of thoughts or questions that you do actually have because i mean i would generally 
kind of try and answer as many of them as I can as I always do whenever I upload a video if you have any questions I will try and answer as many of them as I can in the comment section so I mean yeah if you have a question maybe kind of look and see if anyone's asked the same question or if you have a different question then I mean I would genuinely be trying to answer it as much as I can really so I mean yeah I really do hope you enjoyed watching today's video guys and if you did then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and if you want to see any more kind of like review style videos like this or any other kind of like videos in general then I mean please be sure to drop me a comment as well let me know what you'd like to see from me but that is basically all for tonight guys so until next time see ya mm -hmm.